So I wanted to do something a little different. Um, I watched a video a little while back saying the best way to learn a new language is to try some interview questions with it. Flutter, um, okay, it may be a little bit difficult to, to do this Flutter, I could attempt that. But because, you know, Dart is the base code, as it were, to Flutter, I'm, I'm going to look at Dart because a lot of these interview questions are more back-end functionality rather than UI. So, to be honest, I'll be right in, in Dart anyway. So, the first one I'm going to start with is, is a fairly simple one. Um, it's reverse a number. So, take a, a number, say, one, two, three in and then return 3, 2, 1 as the output, right? Very simple, but it gives me an opportunity to to uh, run through some simple um, dot program and, and both learn, but also give a little bit of insight, maybe a little bit different. You may have seen a number of these interview questions in other languages, maybe not so much in Dart. So the first thing we're gonna do is, and I'll refer to my notes as well, we're gonna actually reverse the number so we want to create a function to do that, which is going to return an int and it's going to take in an input of type int. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just to start with um, rev number, and so make it equal, and then I'm going to just return that. So we get rid of any any errors that might come out. Okay. So we're going to be working on the input value and then we're going to put that into something called RevNum and we're going to return it. Now to reverse a number it's quite simple. All you will do is you um, take a number, um, say in this case one, two, three, you use a modulus on it to get the, re the remainder value and that then becomes the value that goes into the rev number and then you multiply it you'll see as we go along so what i want to do i want to say well while my input is not equal to zero because we're going to be dividing it each iteration um, and let me just spell while correctly <laughs> um, while it's not equal to zero then we want to continue in this loop what we're going to say is we're going to say my rev number Right, it's going to be equal to my rev number and then we're going to multiply by 10 yeah and then we're going to add to that the modulus of input yeah sorry divided by 10 and then what we're going to say is we're going to say each iteration my int now in input value sorry is and you have to use this at sign there because the, the, if I just did division like that in dart it throws up an error usually because and it's not going to this time but it throws up an error usually because it says oh you, you, your um, value is is uh, not a double so we tend to use this um, so you think it's a double so we tend to say we want to use this at sign and that then says you know we're doing a division and the, the, the divider is, um, sorry, we say input, sorry, oh, that's why I was showing it, input is equal to input divided by 10. So if I remove it now, it'll show me an error because it's trying to do a division as a thing, it's a double, it's not, it's an int. So we'll put this little sign, there we go. So that's, this is really simple. What it's saying is I get a value in and then I make my reverse number is equal to my reverse number multiplied by 10 plus the in, the modulus. So if I was to pass in one, two, three as an example, um, in the first iteration, the remainder is going to be three. So rev number becomes three because zero multiplied by 10 is zero. The second time round, rev number is now three. So I multiply it by 10, which is 30. And then we have the remainder, which would be in the case of one, two, three would be two. And then, so this times 32 times by 10 is 320, and the remainder is going to be 1, so it's 3, 2, 1. Yeah, so we divide it by 10, that's going to be 0, um, and uh, therefore it's going to jump out, and then we're going to return it. Now, all we need to do now is actually, if I keep that in there and I uh, get rid of this for loop here, because we don't want a for loop in this case, and I will actually change it, and then if I go my 
int, uh, so if I go to my int uh, reverse value is equal to my reverse number function, let's copy that to save doing the wrong one, and we're going to pass in the number one, two, three, four, yeah? And then what I'm going to say is I'm going to say reverse number is and then in this case we just want to change this to be my reversed value here so what we're saying is output a string yeah and the string is going to be reverse number is and then output the value that's within this reverse number if we now run that We can see the number return is 4321, which is the reverse of 123. So that's how you code the reverse number algorithm problem interview question using DOT. Hopefully that's useful. And again, this algorithm here, you can convert into many other languages. So it's just, I want to do it in DOT for you. Okay, uh, keep an eye. I'll be doing some more of these as we move forward. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy watching them too. Thanks for watching and uh, watch out for the next one.